In today's video, I'm going to be talking about different types of gardening. Vertical gardening, container gardening, grow bag gardening, and also raised bed gardening. The first one is vertical gardening. What is vertical gardening? How do you grow in grow bags? Is it better to grow in a raised bed? What are the advantages and disadvantages of each? In this video, I will answer all of those questions and then later I will plant in each of those containers. Make sure you stay till the end where I share a tip about planting potatoes. And it's giveaway time, so make sure you watch to the end for details. Hello, garden friends, and welcome to my channel, DK's Garden Oasis. For those that don't know me, I am Debbie. I'm a master gardener and butterfly raising hobbyist. On this channel, gardeners of every skill level will learn to bloom, grow, and conserve in your garden. What is vertical gardening? It means growing up and it's the opposite of your normal horizontal gardening. You can grow on a trellis or in a tower of pots or on some other structure like a garden wall. It saves space and you can reach the harvest more easily. It increases air circulations around the crops, reducing the chance of fungal diseases. Disadvantages. Limited space and you can only go so high. Also limited size and the weight of those containers. I do like using the vertical system though, um, especially if you don't have a lot of space. I purchased a green stalk and I will show that description above and I'll also be planting in the green stalk later on it in the video. It's the only one in its kind that has a watering system that waters all the tiers at the same time. It has 30 planting pockets and you can plant a variety of things like flowers, herbs, vegetables, and strawberries. Last year was my first year and I planted different type of lettuces and it turned out very well. This year I'm going to be planting herbs. The next one is grow bags and this is what I purchased on Amazon. I did purchase some in black and I discovered that it dried out a lot faster so I only like the tan or the green ones. Advantages. They can be used anywhere and it can be moved easier. They are lighter than plastic and they have handles so that you can move them around easier. It encourages air proof rather than root circling. Also another advantage is temperature control. It sheds excess heat through the breathable fabric and the soil warms up earlier in the spring. Prevents overwatering by percolating through the material. The disadvantages are they don't last very long. I bought mine last year and I washed them at the end of the season and so far they are doing pretty good. I'm not sure how many years I will get out of them, but that is one disadvantage is they don't last as long as plastic. Another disadvantage would be the cost. They may not be cost effective because you may need to replace them. Aesthetically, they might not be as pretty as your plastic or ceramic pots and they need a lot of watering. Container gardening. So this is just this is one example, container gardening. It's a great start in container gardening. It's manageable in size, requires no digging or tilling, and minimal weeds. It's also portable as long as you can lift them. Also, you can bring them inside and enjoy the plants in the winter. They're also pretty creative. They have a variety of colors and shapes and you can really get unique with some containers. Disadvantages, the pots dry out faster. Also, it needs fertilizer as the nutrients leach out of the container as you water. Also, some containers can get pretty pricey and the plants sometimes outgrow the containers. Raised beds. I'll show you a description of the one that I have. Mine is about um, chest high so I don't have those in the ground because I do have rabbits that like to chew on people's gardens. Advantages are it's a controlled environment and it deters unwanted guests from getting at your garden. They also can be a valuable design element in your garden space. You have less bending over as you plant, harvest, and weed. Also another advantage is better drainage. Disadvantages. It's costly and it takes time to build. Now it's time to plant in some of those containers that I described. Make sure you stay till the end for our container gardening giveaway. Okay, this is the five-tier vertical gardening that I was talking about. This is the wheel um, bottom because this five tiers do get heavy, so I bought the wheel part. And then this is the first layer, the bottom, you put on. And then between each layer, 
there's gonna be one of these. And this, the water goes through and it trickles down to each layer. It's kind of unique how it does that. So, um, and then this is the top. So I'll show you after I fill these all up with soil what this looks like, and I'll be back. Okay, there's my five-tiered system. Pretty tall, so I'm gonna have to just scan it. So on the bottom, like I said, there's wheels, and thank goodness I have wheels because there's no way I can move this. On the bottom, I have English thyme. Second tier, I have rosemary. Third tier, I have basil, but two different kinds. I have Mrs. Burns lemon basil, and I have Asian basil. The next one, I have chamomile. And in the top, I have pink lavender and purple lavender. So then uh, in a couple of seconds here, I will show you when I'm gonna be doing watering. Okay, this is how I know it got down to the bottom. This is the excess. I did not plug it because I wanted to make sure the water comes out. So yeah, I'm just gonna give it a drink on top a little bit and then that's it for the green stalk. And I'll show you the progress as the herbs grow. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to plant in a grow bag. I bought these on Amazon and um, I am going to put a determinate tomato called Proven Winners Good Hearted. It's a determinate, which means it won't be very tall. It already has fruit on it, and you don't really need to stake it, but I'll keep this little stake to keep it straight. Um, and it just has fruit all season. So let's uh, plant this one. Okay, so I have it mostly filled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of Proven Winner's new pots. They're called Echo Grande. Plantable and compostable so you can just plant these right in the ground but I'm just going to take these out okay so I'm going to take it out of its pot and put it right in the center and then I'll back fill with some more soil I bought two of them and one I am going to place in this grow bag and let it grow out here and the other one I will put in my raised bed and show you the progress of both. And again, I'll show you the progress after about a, a month in the grow bag and the raised bed. So yeah, that's the grow bag. Did my raised bed and the last one is peppers. And the first row is Nano Pino peppers and those are no heat jalapenos. The next one is jalapeno peppers. The third row is shishito. Pepper. Fourth row is a regular green pepper, sweet pepper. And the last row is uh, sweet pepper early. So uh, those are my five rows of peppers. And I did the tomato and I will be putting all of these in grow bags as well. I hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have friends or family that like to garden, please consider sharing this video. Now for the giveaway. I will be giving away two container gardening boxes and they have bush beans, some carrots, some space saver cucumbers, some kale, some romaine lettuce, scallion onions, some sweet peppers, spinach, summer squash, and also cherry tomatoes. The giveaway starts Tuesday, June 7th at 12 p.m. and runs through Sunday, Father's Day, June 19th at 11 p.m. The winners will be announced Monday, June 20th at 6 p.m. To enter, 
If you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below if you container garden and what you grow in your container gardening. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. All you need to do is leave a comment about your container gardening experience. Let's grow everyone. In the next video, I will be sharing my first farmer's market in my neighborhood. If you live in my area, please email me at the email below in the details of this video and I'll share the details. In this farmer's market, I will be giving away free flowers, herbs, and vegetables. The free farmer's market will begin Friday, June 10th and Saturday, June 11th. Rain dates will be the following Friday, June 17th and Saturday, June 18th. Now I'd like to share a tip about planting your potatoes. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.